All right, all right, all right. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today is why? Why don't we have audio? What's going on here? Do we not have audio? Let's take a look. Do 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 do. Yo, uh, I see one person watching. Can you hear me? Because I don't see my audio thing jumping. Yo, yo, test us. Should have Yeti. Um, <clears throat> test test. Mic check one two. We recorded. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'll put his headphones. Oh, you can hear me now? Weird. Okay, I don't have the audio like levels jumping. Okay, all right. Well, if y'all can hear, then let's go. Because today is Monday, January 30th, 2023. And if y'all can believe it, we're already done with 8% of the entire year. That means 2023 is now 8% of the way over, maybe just a little bit over 8%, something like that. It is 8.2% over. So that means we got 91.8% days of amazingness. So let's go ahead and dive on in. We'll get the music going in just a moment. All right, here we are taking a look. So to the low of the day was 4040, which is crazy because last week, like we were struggling to break four and we're definitely above there. And uh, right now it's, it's kind of, kind of cooling off. We're down to 4057, just below the volume weighted average price. You can see a lot of this kind of cooling off happening from the top, from the upper band of the volume weighted average price. Uh, we came almost near it um, at like 7.15. And we've basically just been selling off since about 7.15. Pulling all the way back to the 200 SMA. Um, so there may be some likelihood of potentially falling down to the lower band of the VWAP and going on some bullish or bearish action for a while um, before switching back to some bullish, maybe in about an hour or so. Uh, but at the moment, we're bouncing off the, um, we are bouncing off of the 200 simple moving average. Volume is looking like about four, about four to 6,000 contracts per minute. So pretty high volume. This is one of those days where the price movement is really unpredictable, uh, where there's a lot of volume in the market but the movement is really like kind of choppy. I can already tell that it's super choppy so far today. Um, so with choppy waters, I'm gonna be extra super, super cautious with um, our evaluation fact on my eval. Um, since we had such a hard time on Friday in our 50K account, we're still active in here, but I got a lot of ground to, to make back up. Um, I'm gonna switch this over to one contract so that I don't accidentally pick more than that. And uh, and we'll work our way back up. We have a very small trailing drawdown available to us. Uh, it's not listed there, but I remember it was 160. I don't know why the hell it's not listed. That's disconcerting. Oh, I'm on the wrong count, that's why. That's why it ain't listed. There you go, 160. And I want this one, yeah, okay, to be on one contract. And we're gonna slowly build our way back. Okay, so now we're dropping below the 200 simple. We've got red on the TTM. These, uh, we went from yellow chilies to red chilies. Try and see if I can find a trend today. 
the moment I don't see a lot. I don't do percentages well. <laughs> Dropping down to 40.54. Not a lot of trend today, is there? like we have support around 45 just trying to find something to attack here I don't see a lot yet Three minute chart got a uh, 1226 to the downside. I'm go for like a scalp. A little feeler trade here. I was going to take a feeler trade off that 4055 there off of uh, the rejection of the 200, but that's literally exactly what it did. I just was too slow. I'm going to try and go short off. 54. See if I even get an entry. For now, I'm just checking the chart along the um, longer time frames. Right now, everything is looking bearish. Um, on all, like, 1, 3, and 5. Man, I should have just hit sell market. So just taking the market price. What's up with this? Why am I not getting filled? I literally hit market. Wow, did you all see how much that jumped around? Like it was just following like throughout the whole price ladder just as it moved before it filled. That was so laggy. Yo, why is this not filling? Look at this. Okay, there's 200. So 200 in our pocket, but man, what's up with those fills? I'm like checking, do I have real time data too? What's up? <sighs> Morgan looking really bearish. Uh, let's see, TTM going from 6.5 to 7.0 to 7.1 potential for a red yellow switch here i wouldn't trust it as a breakout but might be decent for a little scalp trade i'll see about going long here we could just lose but or just not get filled yo what's going on with this i'm wondering if i need to restart my tos That's so weird. Yeah, it did take a really long time for mine to update this morning. Okay, well, if you're having TOS issues too, 
It's probably a TOS thing. It's a TOS thing. Dun, 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 dun. Cause we got a TOS thing. I forget what that song there is. It was like, we got a good thing. More stacking on the TCM to the downside. Going short here. As this kind of levels out. 7.5, 7.9. Dropping below 40.50. I'm gonna uh, tighten up this trade here to go for micro profit on it. Ten seconds left in this candle. Um, I may potentially need to cut this trade because it is bouncing off of 50 and it's bouncing pretty well. Nah, we didn't need to cut it. We took that profit. So we may see some bounces off of 40.50. But we are nearing the low of the day. The low is down there at 48 but TTM is moving like if you look at the TTM it's like going really flatly down like it's like 7.5 to 7.7 to 7.8 to 7.9 so it's like really really like yeah 7.2 to 7.5 to 7.7 7, 7.8 to 8.0 so like it's going down, but it's going down so like tiny increments that uh, we're either stacking for a massive dump of a falling knife or we're going to bounce here. One of the two. When I say bounce, you know, our bounce would be like a small little jump up, maybe to like the 200 moving average at like 40.55. But the falling knife aspect things like drop all the way down like 40.40 or 42 or something like that. Seven point eight to eight point one, and getting some dojis along the bottom. Remove some of these old drawings on here. Just gonna remove it all. This is kind of distracting me. Now it's just their moving averages. It looks like we're gonna head a little more down. We're up 400 in the sim. Taking three trades, all winners, just like you guys. Let's see, 7.8, 8.3, 8.8. like we're, we're just very kind of like grinding downward i think that we may potentially hit the lower band lower bands at 42 this is literally like flags in reverse or i should say flags to the downside okay 
Are we finally getting this red yellow move here? Because we've got the 35 above the 26, so we do have potential up to 40, 55. I'm gonna join the bid here. In at 49 and three quarters. I'm just looking for a move just to pop above 50. See Tim stacking pretty nicely on the um, toward the upside. I'm gonna join the bid here in our evaluation. Order filled. We're in at 50 and a quarter. I'm looking to get out of 51. We're only in one contract again because we're we're building this. Order back filled. Up. We did get that. Except for I did that in my 100k account. <laughs> I meant to do it in my 50. It's okay. There's still room in this. 8.3 to 7.4. I'm doing the bid here on the paper side. And on the eval side. I'm just going to wait for this little pullback. Join the bid here. Would have failed. We're in off 51.50. Looking to get out 52 and a quarter. All right, there we go. Would've we got failed. out of 52 and a quarter on that. Now our drawdown is up at 193. So we will build that up back up to 2,000. Watch out for resistance up at 40.55, 40.56 area, wherever the 200 simple is. I feel as if I should have taken a little more, um, attack this a little bit more. I told, I uh, told you guys on Friday that in my 50 K I'm only going to be trading with one contract and I want to stick to that, uh, for a while until we build that balance back up, We're building up that trailing max. So we got three candles followed by a pullback. I answered on the pullback, but I answered at the top of it. So definitely could have worked on a better entry on that. Kind of just did the join the bid thing that I'm used to doing. But um, we got that trade. We're up 850 in the sim. I'm going to uh, switch over. I'm waiting for this pullback to happen because I honestly think this candle will likely end red, which would be a fine thing. Like, it'd be not so bad if it does end red. We have 10 seconds, and uh, I can see a pullback to, like, 53 would look really nice. Uh, we're at 53.50, which actually is not a bad entry point. Okay, new candle. Now, this is the one that we want to see actually uh, go green. If it doesn't do this, then I want to see a three-minute red uh, candle pullback which looks like we're headed more towards the three minute side. TTM looking like 5.96 to 4.87, down to 4.0. It's a pretty large pullback. I'm trying to enter off 51.50. Um, it, it already jumped off of that. We answered off of 52.50, and we're looking to get out of 53 and a quarter on the sim side. Of course, now we're pulling back to 52. Like I said, I want to see this be a three minute pullback and a bounce off that. I'm going to bump this up to yeah, 54 and a quarter is fine. We're pulling all the way back down to almost 50. I'll cut this trade if I have to. 4.8 to 4.0 to 3.3 on the TTM. We are pulling back to 40.50. So this is a three minute pullback. So I'm gonna expect the next candle to, to jump up. And if it doesn't, then number one, I got a bail on this trade, which I'm already down 650 in. So we're basically giving back all of our profit on the day. Wow. 
That's heavy pullback. It's like we're pulling back, but 2TM stacking up. So I do think that we have a high likelihood of the next candle being a like a pop up. Four point zero to three point five to three point one on the TTM one minute chart. I'm tempted to join the bid in the evaluation side, but. I don't have enough confirmation to take the trade, even though I do think it is going to bounce here. But I'm not going to take the trade based off of the lack of information. Even though the intuition says so. 3.5 to 2.9. To 2.1 or so on the TTM. Oh, Join the filled. bid in the um, in the eval side at 51.50. Oh, Took that pop up there. Um, so now we're up $66. Our trailing max is up at 226 on the day. And um, I'm gonna switch over to my 100K account just to take some time to build this up. By the way, on the 100K account, we're up 614 out of 2,000. So we just need to hit 2,000 on that one. Just pulling back some here. TTM looking like 2.9 to 1.9 to 1.2. So we do have a really strong uh, buildup on the TTM. We're approaching a 1226 crossover. Nine is still below the 12, um, so that's something just to be aware of. Joining the bid here on the um, Order filled. 100K account. Looking for a move up to 53. We entered a 52 and a quarter. I felt like I should have waited a moment, and it looks like I should have, but it's not too bad. We're not... We're not in an awful position or nothing. We're at a 52 and a quarter. We're pulling down three ticks at the moment. Two seconds, one second left in this candle. New candle inbound. We got a doji on that bottom area there, uh, which I don't love. I just want to see this approach the, tw uh, the 26. I'm going to put this um, at a micro profit. See if we can even get out with, with a tiny profit here. Just a single tick. We're at our risk level here. Order fill. All right, we just got out with a one tick profit on that. Um, it looks like it, I potentially could have held it. Yeah, there it is. I could have held through that pullback. But it was just, which I did end up holding through that pullback. But it's just like at a certain point, it kind of sometimes becomes a little nerve wracking. And I'm trying to keep my nerves intact, you know. Uh, so we got this uh, approach up here towards 54. Order filled. Join the bid of 53.50. I'm looking for a move up to 55. Or I should say up to yeah, 55 and a quarter. Order filled. There we go. We got that on the 100K account. We're up 115.10 on the 100K account. Um, and we brought the account up to 696. 
We also got that trade on the on the sim side. So we're up 1250 on the sim side of things. And um, I'm gonna watch out for resistance here at the EMA 35. We do have a cyan switch. So this is looking really nice uh, for a potential breakout. We've also got a possible 5200 crossover, but it's kind of weird that that's firing that because the 50 is above the 200. So it's kind of odd that that is being fired right now. We have a lot of momentum coming in on the TTM side. So we're gonna be cautious of uh, rejections along the 35 EMA, the 200 SMA, and the 50 EMA. We have a lot working in our favor though. We do have nine above the 12 and we're getting a 1226 crossover on a cyan switch. So we have a lot of bullish action in our favor. I'm gonna switch this up to like six ticks, which I probably should have done for back here, but you know, our last trade was, was pretty good size. That's a little more sells than uh, than buys right there on that last candle. Um, let's watch for the 35 to be support, which is right along $55. I'm gonna, oh, well, that was whack. <laughs> it answered me like really not where I wanted to be entered and then flattened to me out. That was like a flat trade. We made no money, lost no money on that, besides the fees. It was a really weird trade. Like, TOS is super laggy today, and so as a result, like, it's it's kind of being awkward to trade it. <sighs> okay, um, this has been kind of on a rip for a while, so I just feel like I need to, like, let it and myself cool and um and i can see it pulling back to the 35 so i'm gonna just hang back <sighs> sip some tea see what's up with this might pull back to like the 9 ema 9 ema right there at 4054 or we could just run along this 35 as support which looks like more like what it wants to do. I'm just going to check in with y'all's. By the way, if y'all chilling, y'all hanging out, make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. We've been going for about like a half an hour or so. So my TOS paper did that yesterday. Yeah, man. Like it, it is, uh, it, it's going wonky today. I don't know why um, the TOS is so slow today. It's like really just like my fills are like floating around. I, I have no idea. That's really odd. Um, this music's a little loud for me. Uh, but yeah, y'all, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell for noties. We are up 1,250 in the paper account. We're up uh, on the valuation side on the 100K. We're up $115.10, um, which means we're at 696 out of 2,000. Let's take a look at our percentage on that. 696.78. Divided by 2,000, which is about 35% to earning funding in our 100K account. Um, this is actually looking kind of decent right here. 3.1 to 3.9 to 4.6. I'll join that bid right there. And I'm gonna jump over here on the eval side and uh, I'm gonna look to join the bid right there. See if I can get in at 57 and a quarter. Order filled. We're in, trying to get out of 58. Order filled. Hands over the cover button. Uh, really want to see that pop right there, but kind of opening with some cells. Order All right, filled. we got that. So that was three ticks, two contracts in the 100K account. And that puts us up 762.88 out of 2,000. So, um... That puts us up on the day, $181 in the eval side. We're only taking two contracts in the 100 because um, that's our max. So 
So now we're at 38%. So we just added uh, about 3% to our 3% to goal. So I guess what that tells me is for every two contract, three ticket uh, trade that we get, we are 3% closer to the goal. That's cool. I didn't know that. It means we need what, like 33 trades? 34? Let's take a look at the, the 100K real fast. It's funny you look at this because, like, here we are on the 100K, right? We've made 212.50, but it's 181. So we pay like 40 bucks in fees, $31.36 in fees. So it's like, it, it's, uh, you really need to make sure that you're taking that stuff into account. But this is our day so far in the 100K. Um, I'm going to probably switch back to the 50K, which is gonna, we're going to drop back down to one contract uh, because we want to stay with within our risk level. And we have a lot of work to build this account back up because Friday we took a beating on this account. We're still in this trade here on this side. Um, Looks like we were just slightly high on that. I might cut this trade. It doesn't look great. I'm gonna cut that trade, take a $150 loss or so. I think it was worth it um, to cut it. So up 1100 in the paper side. Uh, we're up on the 50K, we're up 6604. And on the 100K, we're up 181. Not a bad day so far. In fact, actually a really great day. And um, I'm very happy and proud uh, and happy and grateful, number one, that y'all chilling with me, but also number two, that um, today has been a steady, like just steady tr trading. I'm just taking scalps. I'm not going, uh, I'm not taking big swings today. I think I have to build up that 50K account back, and I want to keep building the 100K account just with little scalps. I mean, like, honestly, two, $300 a day. I mean, that's that's awesome. I'm cool with that. The data in the candle is called the bid ask volume on the chart type settings. Does seem like a level two thing, interesting. You're shocked you don't mind the side volume. That was my question. I'm like, would I would I be able to view it like this? Like I, mean, I don't know. Cause like if there's too much information, sometimes I become distracted or like get like information overwhelmed. I don't really know how to describe it, but I guess it would be that. It's like information overwhelm, if you will. And um, and yeah, it's not, it's, I, I try to keep stuff simple, but also like my strategy is really focused a lot on moving averages and volume and, um, and TCM and stuff like that. I do uh, watch the DOM, but at the same time, I'm kind of like measuring volume as I go. Uh, really the main thing I'm looking at is this, like this line here, a lot of sellers come in. Did you just see that? How many sellers just came in? It's kind of a, I mean, it's like 5,000 contracts, but it's like almost all sells. But I guess, you know, if I had your, uh, if I had that thing up, then I would know how many were buys and how many were sells. It's actually pretty uh, cool to actually know that information. What was that thing called? called bid ask volume on the chart by the way tiny i just want to let you know that i'm really proud that you um, decided to download trade of eight to start using the software um i'm happy and grateful to to know that you're doing that because i know that that is a key component and a key step to uh to to actually earning funding 
Uh, for me, that's, that was exactly what I did first as well. And it was very useful. Let me for this. Volume based. I wonder what money flow indexes. Let's make this a really obvious color. Oh, this is another graph. We're getting some cooling off on that TCM there here at the top of the hour. Um, so this was a pretty good run back up. It's funny, we were getting that 5200 cross trigger when it was already like right there above it. But we are getting a 5200 cross trigger again. And a nice big jump up here on a blue TCM candle. So um, very nice bounce there. We bounced off the 26 simple and um, we're kind of ripping back up. This looks really great for a rip through the 200 simple moving average. Um, remember that we peaked up here at 57. Uh, so we got to be very cautious of that. Trying to join the bid there, but it just kind of ran past me. And it's still, wow, look at that. There we go. Now, uh, what are off to the races? Pulled all the way up to the VWAP. Now we're pulling back very heavy all the way down to the two, the 200. High likelihood of bouncing at the 200, which already happened. 200 right there, 56.75, we bounce up to 58. Three point six to four point zero on the TTM. Order I'm the bid here at fifty nine and a quarter. I'm looking for a move up to sixty. Order there filled. We, go. we got that in our hundred k contract or our fifty k account. Sorry, so we're up hundred bucks in our fifty k account. But more importantly, we've gotten our trailing max back up to two fifty nine. Um, so we've added ninety nine dollars to our uh, trailing max. We're gonna bring that back up to two thousand. That's the main thing I'm focused on. I'm focused on that more than anything else uh, in the in this 50k account, which is why I'm trading so small, um, and just taking three ticks. But three ticks is still, you know, uh, pretty decent amount of money. Three ticks with one contract. Nice big rip up there. It's been so hard to get fills on TOS. I mean, look at this, like, it just went right through it and it didn't even fill it. Like, what just happened? Well, why am I in a trade now? I'll just flatten that, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> it's still bouncing around, dude. Just let me out of the trade, dude. Come on. Wow, y'all see that? You saw it here first. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, okay, this was a, a very nice move, uh, like very nice rip through the view up. Uh, I may want to see this pull back to the volume weighted average price now. I gotta be super cautious in this 50K account and I hope that I don't end up being overly cautious uh, that I Missed trades kind of like this. So I did take some uh, off this, but there definitely was a, a lot of meat on this bone that I didn't touch. It went from 53 to up to 63. So um, from those four candles.
By the way, if y'all chilling, y'all hanging out, make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Because once you do, once you ring that bell for notifications, not only will you help the community grow, but you will get wonderful, amazing, beautiful notifications from YouTube to let you know when I actually go live. Which, by the way, we go live every Monday through Friday at 7.30 Pacific, that's 10.30 Eastern Time. And we would love to see you here, smiling, commenting in the chat, and being like, yo, let's make this money together. What up? Getting a pullback towards the volume weighted average price and potential bounce off of 62. It's looking really nice. Finally back above VWAP. And uh, like I said, it took it, so it took about 45 minutes from when I said that. Uh, when this is like around 7.30, 7.40. Uh, when I was like, okay, getting a lot of bearish action here. It's going to take uh, maybe up to in about an hour for us to get back into some bullish action. And here we are up in this bullish zone. Back above this volume weighted average price. Gonna pull back to the view app, uh, the mid, mid line of the view app. And let's see here, as far as TTM goes, we went from 4.8 to 4.6 to 4.3. So we're getting some micro pullbacks on the TTM here. I gotta adjust that 5200 crossover thing now. I adjusted it last week and it, it now it's giving like false fires. I think I made it too close the the reader got an entry off of 61.75 and we're looking for a move up to uh up to 63. a little less willing to do that in the eval side um we are getting some cooling on the TTM. The cooling on the TTM is minimal. Mm -hmm. Guess I should have taken it because we're up a dollar from when I said that. I'll trade that for a dollar. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got uh, that trade on the sim side. So we're up 1500 on the sim. And um, yeah, definitely should have taken that trade in the eval. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not like the... It's not a false signal from moving average. It's it's like a false signal from uh from a possible crossover trigger. It's like this may happen kind of thing. Um, and it was always it was working fine in the past, but it would like give me like triggers like thirty minutes prior. And I'm like, that's great if I want to like plan a trade thirty minutes out from now. Um, but uh, I moved it in like a little bit closer, and it worked pretty well. But I it was also still a little far away, so I tried to like. Uh, I tried to move it um, a little bit closer, and I think I moved it too close. There was a line in a movie that says, I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, that's what I was quoting, but I couldn't remember what the movie is, so I didn't credit it. Uh, but yeah, I totally know exactly what you're talking about, where it's like, I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's something. Um, by the way, guys, if y'all chilling, y'all hanging out, uh, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe, but also... If you guys would like to earn funding in the futures market, make sure you check out Elite Trader Funding. These guys are awesome. Very, very wonderful company. Um, they do offer a uh, funding as low as $10,000 and as high as $300, $1,000. So you can trade with the equity of an entire house. Um, and uh, basically, you know, they, they, have, they have some plans that are a little bit different than what you're gonna find just about anywhere else. There is a one-step evaluation, which um, you can find one-steps now in the marketplace. They're, they're kind of becoming more common. Um, but really, these guys kind of pioneered it, at least from what I saw. I didn't see a, very many uh, companies out there offering one-steps, not like you know a year and a half ago. Um, but uh, 
What's really cool about these is basically you can get access to like fifty thousand um, dollars and allow you to trade like eight contracts of the mini, just any amount of any amount of the, of the plan that you choose. Um, but it's really super simple because you get the fifty k eval profit target three thousand and a trailing max drawdown two thousand. There's also the static evaluation, which I'm also working on. I'm working on the fifty k uh, one step and the static, which is one hundred k, that allows you two contracts in the mini. And two thousand dollar profit target, which we are approaching fifty percent on. Um, then there's also the end of the days. These are what you'll find at most traditional prop firms. Um, and then there's also the fast tracks. I only recommend the fast tracks if you have a very proven strategy, just because they have a time limit on them. None of the other ones have time limits, uh, but, but but these ones, this particular fast track one does. Um, also, guys, in addition to that too, um, I just wanted to say that. Uh, one thing I really also really love about these guys is that you have the capability of choosing your software. Uh, personally, I find that to be incredibly important because a lot of other trading firms will not allow you to choose your software. They basically have the one to choose from and that's that. And you just need to learn that. Um, this one allows you to use things like TradingView or um, NinjaTrader or TraderBay. Um, and what I really like about that is they cover a lot of license keys for different softwares. And um, that's that's a very key component because those license keys can cost thousands of dollars um so it's there's a ton of value built into that um so yeah guys make sure you check them out there's a link in the description promo code uh js best will lock in a lifetime discount for you just make sure you use that link and um and that'll hook you up with that discount all right guys um having said all that let's go ahead and jump back into the chart so i really want to see what it was doing here off this uh view app pop we're up 1500 on the day and we're approaching 830 and it looks like volume uh, all of a sudden slowed down. You see that? So we're having these like five, 6,000 contract candles, like three, four, five, 6,000. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Woo. Yeah. All right. Then once we got about this VWAP and we kind of like petered out on this flag here, look at the, look what happened to the contracts. Went from like 4,400 4, to 3,200 to 1,700. What? To 22 to 22. And then our current candle. But yo, that's crazy. Like, what happened to like 1200 contracts that were trading every minute? Stepped out of the marketplace, I guess. Dude just stepped out. He's like, nah, I think I'm just done for the day. I'm gonna go grab some teriyaki. God, doesn't that sound good? Some teriyaki. I'm sure there's no like cooking show. Just be like, all right, now we're cooking with trades. I don't know. I'm just saying whatever today. I think I'm a little bored today. Market's kind of boring today. Pulling back to round the 12 EMA. Kind of just going sideways above view app now. Pulling back to 4061. All in all, pretty happy with the performance on the day so far. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, dude, you gotta have the rice. What's teriyaki without rice? You know, you gotta get that sticky rice. My favorite is homai. H O M. AI. I hope I said it right. Oh my. But that's that's like my favorite rice. Um I feel like I, I've almost become somewhat of a rice snob over the years. Not really, but I mean I, I do I do uh appreciate a good sticky rice. Especially like the kind of rice that you can just like add like that actually gets soft in the rice cooker, you know? Like, I, 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 it really drives me, like, I, I don't know if it drives me, but it, but it, 
it's like it's tolerable if the rice is like hard and or you like feel like you're just like chewing cereal um like it's tolerable but i like i like when the, the rice gets really soft um that's like my favorite Doo -doo -doo. big sell-off here's what happened to all those contracts Sold all the way back down to the 200. Woo! Woo! Uh, let's take a look at the longer uh, term charts. So the three minute chart actually switched to uh, cyan on the TTM. The five minute chart, let's see what's up with that. Five minute is still um, five minutes still falling down. We had a little brief moment of red yellow. Now we're falling down to seven point nine from seven point seven. This isn't a massive fall down. Honestly, it's it's recoverable from where we're at here. We're getting a bounce off the EMA thirty five and actually kind of off the fifty on the uh, five minute side. I guess what I really want to see um to to really see a, a big strong breakout in the marketplace would be this 50 ema crossing above this 200 sma on the five minute chart it's already above it on the one and the three um but without it being there on the five we're gonna get a lot of the choppiness once we get that 50 above the 200 sma uh a lot of the choppiness will kind of alleviate and we should see a pretty strong move upward are there any financial reports today? I I totally didn't look. Let's take a look at the uh, market news. Bam, bam. I'm gonna drag this over here just so it's close. All right. So there are no reports today. So that's probably why it's just like putting in wave patterns today. Why it's just a, a just this very simple up and down kind of day. Those are just our no reports. Um, Tuesday though, tomorrow, we've got a reasonable amount of reports. We've got an report a report at 8:30 uh, Eastern, so it's 5:30 Pacific, and um, and then at six we've got. Uh, so let's let's start off with the name of the report. So at 5:30. Pacific, 8.30 Eastern, we've got the Employment Cost Index, um, followed by, at 6 a.m., the S&P Case-Shiller Home Price Index. Uh, the Case-Shiller, the FHFA uh, Home Price Index, both these Home Price Indexes, these are pretty important uh, in terms of moving markets. Uh, there's a lot of data that is pushing towards the housing market, seeing a very strong cool down. Um, but then there's also conflicting data coming in saying that the housing market is not cooling down as much as they said it would. And so it's kind of like this flip flopping uh, bit of information. So you you kind of need to come to your own conclusion with it. Me, me personally, the way I look at it is um, I saw what happened in 2007 where people were just paying ridiculous amounts of money uh, for houses. And I know they attribute the Great Recession to, to 2007, but I personally attribute it to 2008 because in 2007, we kind of had a lot of this sort of like um, going sideways, uh, almost like seemingly consolidation uh, in the housing market and in a bunch of other markets as well before the real like big crash type stuff started happening like September and October 2008. So, um, so I kind of, view it as 08 but we're kind of get seeing similar uh chart progress when it comes to the home price index as well or just the home home prices as well uh at 645 we got the chicago business barometer so a business weather pattern <laughs> just just messing around um at uh, seven o'clock we've got the consumer confidence index followed by the relevance the rental vacancy rates that's all tomorrow. The rental vacancy rate. I 
uh, Kika Man Rice. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know Kika Man did rice. I thought that was just the soy sauce. All right. 7.7 7 to 7.9 7 to 7.1. We got a nice little stack on the TCM5. And um, and we are moving and approaching towards the 5200 cross. This may look like uh, around 9 o'clock, just given the divergence that it's currently at the moment. Also, on the five minute chart, I think really it's like the five minute is what to watch right now because uh, the nine is still below the 12 on the five minute chart. We're, we're just starting to get in between the red and yellow on the TTM. And we we haven't got a 5200 cross. We don't have a 1226 cross. So we've, we've got a lot of crossovers that are still waiting to happen on the five minute chart. So I think that the five minute chart really has a lot of validity right now. That's not to say it doesn't have a lot of validity at other times. Sometimes I can just focus, dial in more and see what's coming um on shorter time frames or longer time frames three minute chart also does not have the um 1226 crossover which actually just got this moment um the moment i said that i'm gonna join the bid here and i'm gonna take a look at the one minute chart but i'm probably gonna jump back over to my okay we well, just made some very quick profit there i'm gonna jump back over to my evaluation here we're also getting a red yellow move on the TTM, jumping to the eval side. And um, we're gonna look for an entry here, maybe down at 61.50 if I can get it. I need to measure the CTM though. Uh, 2.5 to 2.2, possible crossover inbound as well. And we're getting pulled back to 61.75, 61.50 there. Uh, I'm going to join the bid here. Order 61 filled. and a quarter. I'm looking for a move back up to 62. We're in a 50K account and we're in one contract. We're just looking for a move up to 62 to rebuild our trailing max drawdown. Did not fill me. It was one tick away. We hit 61.75. Gonna put this down at a micro profit now. Um, we're getting some sell off here. Guess I should have gone for two instead of three possibly entered at 61 but there's a little feel. pop up there took a little micro off that tiny little profit up 107 08 um trailing max is now at 267 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pulling back to the view app now um looks like we're down a bit in this trade on the um, on the sim side, so I try to take a little too much on the sim. Two point three to one point nine to one point seven on the TTM yellow side, pulling back to the nine EMA and kind of bouncing off of that. We're also approaching a potential crossover of the twelve twenty six. On the one minute side, this is a very large pullback, pulling all the way back to the 200 simple. We're pretty deep into this trade. Um, we're still up 1200 on the day, but we are down like $550, $600 in this trade. One point nine to one point nine to one point nine. Yep. Just kind of flattening on the TTM. Nine's below twelve. I'm gonna cut this trade. Just take this loss. Maybe it'll let me out one day. 
Hopefully it lets me out higher than lower. All right, it let me out of the trade. We lost 650 on that one, and it's kind of popping up a little bit. And I, I understand that this was one of the risks of cutting it. There's also a big risk of this dropping even more. Um, so being as that's the case, I'm going to just let that go. That was on the, the paper side. Gratefully, the evaluation has been nothing but wins today. We're going to keep it that way. We do have diversions happening, 9 above 12 and crossing above the 26 on the 3-minute chart, along with the cyan candle as well on the TTM. So 2.8 to 3.9 to 5.0. This is stacking very nicely and strongly on the 3-minute chart uh, as well. So I probably should have held on to that trade, but you know what? We can always get back in. We're going to um, join the bid right here off of 59 if we can get that entry they don't like me all right we entered at 59 and a half which is more than we wanted to but you know i was trying to get in at 59 but it just was not filling what it's basically been doing all day and our exit point is at 62.50 that's our intended exit. We've got resistance showing at the view app there. I believe that this breakout is going to happen, but there is a lot of resistance in order for it to happen. I have belief that this breakout will happen because on the three minute, we're seeing continued diversions at the 12 and the 26. Uh, our next three minute candle is going to be at 36, which is just in about 15 seconds. So in about 15 seconds, I'll know whether or not I'm right. I mean, I'm currently positive in the trade, so that's great. But all right, here we go. New 15 or, you know, new three minute candle. 3.9 to 5.0 to 5.4. Still heavy resistance at the volume weighted average price but strong divergence as well on the 12 and 26. 9 is even diverging from the 12. That again is is very strong indication of an upward move. And so we have this really something is holding this back. Something is standing in the way of uh of pushing through the volume weighted average price. We've got stacking on the TTM. We've got crossovers galore, but there is a there is something in the way. Not to quote Nirvana. I may have to cut this again, and then stop taking this anticipation trade. Yep, we got to cut it. Wow. Gave back a massive amount of our profits trying to trade that potential breakout. Uh, we're still up $400 on the day, but we were up $1,850 as our peak. So, um, so we're going to have to take our foot off the gas and make sure that we maintain green all day. It's incredibly important. It ain't easy being green, says Kermit. Got an ABCD pattern forming uh, just below the VWAP. Gonna pop in on the five minute chart, which is also still stacking. Like you can see this TTM side going from 7.1 to 7.1, so basically nothing, to 6.5. So at 8.40, you will have a little bit more information there, but how y'all doing? 
how you doing? It ain't easy being greasy in a world full of cleanliness and all that other mad ish we out. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You got about the Wu Tang clan. From our pal, the M E T H O D man. I would go down to one or two contracts uh, to lessen the risk. Too scared to go higher. No worries. You know, like, Tiny, just go at your own pace, man. Do not feel pressure. Do not feel the pressure to, like, be like, I got to earn the funding in a month. Or be like, I got to, like, you know, go at this speed, this arbitrary speed that some sort of entity in the universe is saying that I should go at. Um, go at the pace that you feel most comfortable with. Because the fact of the matter is, is that, like, if you push your boundary too far too fast, It'll be difficult to sustain, even if you have victories. Um, so push your boundary at the speed at which you can maintain its growth. Um, that's incredibly important. Uh, if you, I, I've personally done it before. Like I've done it to where I've like pushed way too quickly, and um, like my first business, I honestly expanded it way too fast. Uh, I had like three or four locations in like nine months, three. Three locations. I had three locations in like nine months, and it was just like too much to take on. So I was like managing multiple employees in multiple different towns, and um, that was really challenging. Uh, so, and looking back, I learned a lot from that, uh, from my very first business. Looking back, I was like, oh, okay, it's good to expand, but you need to make sure that you can handle all your growth. Um, you know, if you grow too fast, then you often it's like out of reach of within what you're able to manage. Yeah, exactly. Like that's another thing too. Uh, easier easier said than done. Some days you are totally correct. It is sometimes easier said than done. Because honestly, like just all of the trades that I've taken in my evaluation today, I'm like I should have been at four contracts. I would have just already been done rebuilding my trailing max. But the thing of it was is that I went down to one contract because I was too close to the trailing max. So that's why I went down to that one contract so that I could build it back up slightly at a time. Um, and if I needed to cut it, I don't dip too far into that trailing. And so it, it is tempting a lot of times to want to go for more contracts um, because it just makes sense. Go for more contracts, take the same exact trades, and you make more money. Um, but you also increase your risk, and so you have to you have to move at the risk that you feel emotionally, spiritually, and personally comfortable with. Um, and don't deny how you feel on your emotions about it, because like if you just try and like push past and be like, oh well, you know. I should be earning a Lamborghini rep by now. It's just going to be really like, you're just going to keep pushing into walls over and over. Like it's, it's kind of funny too, because like you'll look back in three years and you'll be like, wow, had I just gone slow, had I just did a little bit at a time by now, I would already have made it. And I've personally been there on more than one thing, not just trading. Um, and so, I try to take that those life lessons to heart. It is difficult to remember the probably thousands or even hundreds of thousands of life lessons that we have all learned throughout our life and keep them in mind as we travel through this universe each and every day. But it's important that we become conscious of those of those life lessons and that we become conscious and aware of our emotional spiritual state really like the the most valuable skill somebody can have in my own personal opinion in life is self-awareness um because without self-awareness one cannot know thyself one cannot know their own identity and like they could think they're something, but they're identifying as something like I am this occupation or I am this like uh group of some kind. And 
like that's not who you are like you are not as a person you are not necessarily a traitor like your person your identity that comes a lot from your principles your ideas your ethics your values your morals your integrity integrity being the things that you do that when no one's watching like who you are when no one's around like and how much does that come through in your actions when there are other people around that's who you are that's who your identity is and um so your identity is not your occupation it is not uh, it's not a group or your ethnicity or any of those other things. Those are all exterior of yourself. What is interior is where the identity lies, and that's the principles, ethics, morals, and values that you stand by um, and that you live by. Uh, the things that you believe and your beliefs lead to your actions. So having said all that, uh, I, I be personally believe that self-awareness is one of the most important skills of anybody in life, but particularly useful in trading. Uh, it's one of the few places in my life where I've been able to be like, all right, self-awareness on the table. All right, let's take a look at, at what's going on. How am I feeling? How am I thinking? And um, how can I apply it to my trading? Do I need to be skittish? Do I need to be aggressive, etc.? And... Um, am I being overly aggressive? Am I emotional today? Uh, am I tired? You know, it's just, just how, just being as super, super focused on self-awareness as I possibly can be each and every day allows me to not only be a happier person, but to be a better trader. And that's all I'm going to say on self-awareness because I've been talking for what seems like way too long. TTM looking like 6.8 to 6.0 to 4.8 on the TTM5. We do have a stack up, like a little build up happening on the TTM5. And that that goes in line with what this 5200 crossover uh, potential that we talked about about 15 minutes ago. It goes in line with that as well. Obviously, we would need to see things like the 9 get above the 12 uh, first to really like take many trades here but but this is looking nice in terms of a build up yes is down slightly on the day 0.67% 0.7% or so somewhere in that range so we're down slightly on the day in terms of the uh, the overall movement of the market Riding along the 200s of a moving average on the three minute chart, you can see it's kind of like really bouncing just there. Uh, one thing to note is that the 200 simple moving average on the three minute chart is pointing to the downside. Like it's pointing downward and we're, we're typically going the opposite direction of whichever direction it is pointing. So if it's pointing downward, um, there is potential that we're moving upward. We also are seeing continued divergence away from the 50. What this really tells me is that there's a lot of people that are that are developing a position or accumulating a position along this 200 simple moving average, trying to keep the price down so that as they continue to keep the price down, um, they can accumulate more, more and more contracts and then we'll likely see a nice big rip uh, potentially up towards the view app or possibly even through it. Switching back to the one minute chart and we're approaching nine o'clock. So we're approaching the top of the hour. So we may see some uh, volume movement there at the top of the hour. We got a 5200 across to the downside of the one minute chart. Ooh, kind of a weird trade day. But if y'all are chilling, y'all are hanging out, please make sure you like that like button, subscribe to that subscribe button, and ring that bell for that noti, that notification. <laughs> Without self-awareness, we are all doomed. You're not wrong.
actually. Um, trading is maybe a better person. I think it's the main goal. Yeah, like for for no matter what you're doing, I mean, like honestly, like it has to improve your life. It does. If it doesn't improve your life, what are you even doing it for? What's the point? You know, is it just to make money? Because there's so much more to life than that. Like. I think I think it's actually really fascinating. Um, Cause I've personally been the guy that's just like I just need to make more money, you know. Um, but I was I was that dude because I came from like utter poverty. So like when you come from that, you know, like you, you think that money will fix a lot of your problems, and it it does. Money does fix a lot of your problems. That's that's for dang sure. And and you better be okay with making it if you ever want to get out of poverty. Um, but at the same time, uh, the, the drive for money, uh, can cause its own issues. Um, like it can cause you to be like, oh, I need to work, you know, extra hours, you know, and for what? To like make an extra like 50 bucks, you know, when you could have been putting your kid to sleep and what have you. So, um... One minute chart getting a red to yellow. But you can see we kind of got some red to yellow through here through the shop. TTM looking like 2.9 to 3.2, 3.3 to 3.6, out of 3.5. Not enough for me to want to take a trade on it. Definitely gonna ditch this off of 12 ticks. So it's just more like three. I may have room up to like 54. I'm going to wait for this to, to put out like a real real sign of a real move. You can see we got this 5200 cross here to, toward the downside uh, about 10 minutes ago. There's that room up to 54 I mentioned. 3.65 to 3.8. To 3.2 on the TTM to 2.7 on the TTM. Pulling back to about 3.0. It's pulled back to 50 and a half. So this is really like a bounce off of 50. Seems like a reasonable entry for a long but I'm going to verify this against the three minute chart. One point five down to zero point oh on the TTM on the three. Fifty one. Our next candle is going to be at fifty four, which is in two minutes. So that's a ways out. Take a look at this on the five. So five minute has still been stacking yellow on the TTM. So here we are 6.0 to 5.5. 5. To 4.7. So even though this is continuing to fall down, the TTM is still stacking towards the upside. Again, that tells me that there is a, some accumulation happening. But it's slow. <laughs> Let's get a downward angled uh, 50 EMA. So that doesn't look good for uh, for a potential breakout. So. 5.5 5 to 4.4 on the TTM five minute chart. And uh, we're coming up on the next three minute candle. Should be a 54. By the way, guys, if you would like to earn funding in the futures market, again, make sure you check out Elite Trader Funding. There's a link in the description. And you can use the promo code JSBest, lock in a lifetime discount, but you can get hooked up with um, 
funding as low as 10K all the way up to $300,000. Um, you can do the static evaluation style if that's more of what you're into. Personally, I'm working on the one step and the static. So I'm working on this one, the 50K. And I'm also working on the one step, or, or, or sorry, the static uh, 100K, which allows me two contracts in the mini and a $2,000 profit target, which we're about almost halfway to. In the 50K, um, we kind of blew our account pretty heavily on Friday, so we have a lot of ground to uh, make back. We were about halfway on this one, but we just destroyed our account on Friday. So we're just been working on that one all day today, little by little. Okay, so we did get that new candle on the TTM3. Went from blue to red, uh, red being 0 0.07, so basically flat, to pretty stronger red at 1.6. Market looking real sideways. I'm kind of just waiting for 9 o'clock to see if there is um, some volume increase and just like a nice, uh, some nice movement at that time but right now it's just very choppy pretty sideways and making very small moves there we go we're starting to get a breakdown Take a boredom short. <laughs> I knew it was boredom too. <laughs> We're in a 48. I was looking for a move down to like 47 and a quarter. Just because that move was so strong to the downside. Ah. I don't think it's going to work. We're out. We're back to flat on the day. We basically gave back all of our profit. Uh, our peak of the day was 1850 on the sim side. This is. It's hard to just watch a chart for like 20, 30 minutes with like no trade options. Run the bit of 51. Pay back 200 bucks. On the bit of 52. And back another 200 bucks. We're right back up to 400. Coming up at the top of the hour, it's 57. Brand new three minute candle. Three minute chart looking like 1.5 to 1.8 on the TCM3. Coming up, hitting resistance there at the 1226. Actually, just blasting right through it. It don't matter. It don't matter none. Like moving averages, resistance, what's that? <clears throat> Getting a nice big, big pop up here. Oops. Gonna look for an entry off of 55. 
think that might be a little too aggressively low. I'm gonna try for 55.50. And I'm gonna jump to the evaluation side. There is like one second left in this candle. We've had three greens in a row, so I may look for a potential pullback on this one. Nah, it's just, it just wants to rip. Um, nine's above the 12. We're approaching in a 1226 crossover as well. Uh, we are also getting a cyan switch. This just ran without me um, for a rejection there. And join the bid. Trying to get enter 5750 in our um, 50K account. Ran past me, didn't fill. Um, let's see if we get a rejection off the 200 real quick. 10 seconds left in this candle. This is looking like the breakout that we've been waiting for for a while. Two seconds left in this candle. Brand new candle now, opening red. Whichever pullback, maybe to like the 50 EMA. Uh, entry after 56 doesn't look bad. Mm -hmm. This may pull back for like up to three minutes, but this does look like it's just going to break out. We entered at 57 and a quarter on the uh, sim side. <clears throat> Try to enter at 57 on the 50k again miss the entry it's bouncing around a lot so it's kind of hard to get a proper entry here two seconds left in this candle new candle now TTM looking like uh, 1.09 to 2.06 Order filled. Entered at 58.75 on the 50k. Trying to get out of 59.50. Pulling back some. I don't like that. Come on, push back up. I should have entered lower because I could definitely see that it was about to, and I hesitated. I hate when I hesitate. He who hesitates is lost. Pulling back. Ooh. Uh, trailing max down at 165, which means we may give up all of our efforts on the day. I hope not. At least in this 50k account. Pushing back up. That's good. That's what we want to see. Push up to 60. Come on, homie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Order filled. There we go. We got that. That's nice. Um, up three oh one on the trailing max, and up one hundred and forty dollars and ten cents on the day in the fifty k account. I'm gonna switch over to the hundred k account where I can trade two contracts. <sighs> and um, let's say we got this trade here on the sim side as well. So we're up 700 there. We've got a 5200 crossover coming in for the one minute chart. It's just been wave patterns all day today. How is everyone doing? I just want to check in. We're green across the board today. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we are green across the board today. I just want to know how everyone else is doing. Uh, are you red today or green today? 
Um, but whatever you are, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and um, take advantage of the link in the description. If you want to earn funding, get a lifetime discount on Elite Trader Funding. Promo code is JSBest. Um, but yeah, we're green across the board. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> we're green across the board today. We got a 5,200 crossover inbound on the one minute chart. Um, and, uh, we stacked up to Cyan on the three minute chart. We got a possible crossover to 1226. We did make a red yellow move. And we're kind of um, pulling back to a red on the TTM3. But TTM3, a couple things to note. So we are here at the top of the hour. And we're approaching 9.05. Um, the 26 is still above the 12 on this current candle. Like it crossed over for like a very brief second the 12 did um and then and then 26 did so what i need to see is i need to see the nine get above the 12 and both of it get above the 26 on the three minute chart uh, i think that we absolutely need to see that if we want to see the type of movement that we're after it looks looks good though a lot of potential Jump into the five minute chart, which has a possible crossover with the 1226, potentially a science switch on the TTM as well. And then a possible 5200 crossover. So I'm gonna zoom in on the 5200. Um, the 200 is at 61 and the um, the 50 is at 57. Uh, so we should have a new candle here at 910. But we're going from 2.0 to 0.3 on the TCM. Here's this accumulation that has been going on for a while, looking like it's begin about to pay off. Um, I'm going to try and get in at 58.50, which we did enter in. We entered at 58.50, and I'm looking to exit at 61 and a quarter, which is right where the 200 moving average is. And I'm gonna jump to the one minute chart again. Oops. And we're just gonna get zoomed in on here so that we can kind of measure this on an up close basis. Boom, boom, boom. 2.8 to 4.5 to 5.5 to 5.1 on the TCM. So we got a big uh, momentum increase on this one. Sorry, th 3.8 to 4.5 so 0 0.7 um and then that went up to 5.0 um so apologies brain injury getting in the way there visual impairment issue riding along 4058 gonna jump to the three minute chart so that we can measure that crossover that we were measuring there Okay, 9 did get above the 12 on the 3. This is looking good. 9's above the 12. It's crossing 26. TTM's still flat on the 3-minute chart. But it's looking good for a potential move upward. I'm going to jump to the eval side and um, see if there's an op in here. Right now, everything's kind of too close. Like we've got the 200 right below the um, VWAP. We've got the VWAP there. So th that's two resistance zones to get through. <sighs> I don't think it's going to have a hard time. I mean, we're stacking on all the longer time frames. So I don't think it's going to be too challenging. We did get above the VWAP and the 200, which is now pulling back to the 200. Bouncing there off of 59. Mm, mm, we gotta measure this on the TCM1. Um, we'll have a new three minute candle in about 30 seconds as well. This does look like a uh, flag on the play. There's a flag on the play.
I remember I used to say that in like the old Madden games. You'd be like, there is a flag on the play. I could just be remembering that wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, 0 0.7 to... 0 0.7 to 0 0.36 on the TTM3. Again, 9 is above the 12. It did get a 12.26 crossover, but not a strong one. So choppy today, man. I'm actually pretty grateful and astounded for the profits that we have made on the day. Because the 26 is coming back up and kissing the 12. I'm gonna um, probably take this trade off here with this little bit of profit that, I, that I'm at. Cause this is too like choppy and sideways for me. All right, made a hundred bucks. But it's just too, like, I think this is gonna break out. But when? Probably closer to 9.15 or 9.10. Um, 9.10 will be in about five seconds. But so if it doesn't happen in 9.10, let's look at 9.15. I'm going to jump to the five minute chart so that we can assess this as we go. Getting zoomed in. So we did get a science switch on the TTM five, uh, but not with a ton of momentum, but we did go from 2.09 to 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 on the, on the cyan side, a little bit of a push up. Nine is still below 12 um, on the TTM 5. And it's also below the uh, 26. So we have not got a 26-12 crossover yet on the 5-minute chart. I don't know how long it's going to take for this breakout to happen. Um, it's very clearly stacking up and setting up. But when? It's looking like it's getting closer. Because the 26 is very, very close to the uh, to the 12. They're off by about a dollar 25. So 9:15 would be the next area that we're looking at. Let's take a look at the three-minute chart because we do have a three-minute candle inbound. We're going to know at 9.12. 30 seconds. Candle inbound. 30 seconds. Eagle 1. Fox 2. There's like a walking cavalcade of all these like random quotes from old movies and, <laughs> and, and all kinds of different rap songs from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s. Bro, like, think about that. That's like 40 years of rap. That's kind of crazy. I totally just said bro. Hell with it. We're, we're going to own it. 0 0.5 to 0 0.1 on the TTM5. Getting very close to um, some continued movement upward. <laughs> Look at this, twelve twenty six, just like weaving back and forth over each other. I I don't think I've ever seen it do that. Not not this many times. Just goes to prove the choppiness of the day. Yes, it's still technically red on the day. Zero point seven to zero point five to zero point one. I mean, this is it's close to a science switch, but like, okay, so what kind of volume are we getting? We're on the three minute chart. On the three minute chart, we're only getting like fifty five hundred volume 
so that's that's really low so that's really i think what's preventing this breakout the volume is kind of the number one predictor of volatility without volume you cannot expect price to, to have like major moves um you really need that volume in order to have that liquidity in order to push things around so so here we are probably got a long way out for a lot of these uh for a lot of these breakouts um maybe looking at like 9 30 or so uh we do have a pretty decent amount of people chilling so if y'all chilling make sure you like and subscribe ring that bell for notifications and remember guys we start this stream at 7 30 pacific that is 10 30 eastern time and that is when we really start uh trading we pretty much trade right off the bat there's a vast majority of the time that from 7 30 to 8 is where we make the vast majority of our profits um so the first like 30 minutes of this stream is where a lot of those profits come in um so y'all should definitely try to show up here at 7 30 if you can um you know i understand people got lives and whatnot but uh but yeah definitely try and show up show up here at 7 30 and by the way if y'all y'all are hanging out just say say what up in the chat I mean, let us know that you're here, that you're struggling to survive, and that you're going to persevere. A little bit of that Lupe right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Like, oh, we did we finally get this breakout? We've been waiting on this all day long. We got it at 9:15, huh? 9:14. I'm gonna move up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We went from 57 all the way up to 60, so about 12 ticks, and hitting resistance on that VWAP yet again. Jumping to the three-minute chart. Take a look. So we did get a cyan switch. 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. Did get a cyan switch on the three-minute side. Taking a look at the moving averages, 9 is now above the 12, which is above the 26, but we're getting, again, continued pushback. Um, so a lot of these breakouts are just failing due really in part to the lower volume on the day. And I think one of the reasons why the volume is kind of lower on the day as well is because um, we don't really have any financial reports today. People like to trade those financial reports a lot. I will say this though, the five minute chart does look like it is uh, setting up for a longer term breakout. It's just gonna be a while, probably at like 9.30, another 15 minutes or so, maybe even a little bit longer, like 9.45 because of the um, of the difference of the divergence here with the 50 EMA and the 200 simple moving average. Um, but 9.30 may, at the earliest, I'm, I'm thinking 9.30. Um, so that's like 15 minutes out from now. <clears throat> but the 50 is approaching the 200 crossover. Um, and the five minute is setting up for what looks to be a longer term breakout. Mega some pullbacks in between that time, um, like we're getting right now. Uh, but that's, that's the area I'm looking at. <sighs> <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, guys, if you would like to earn funding in the futures market today as well, <clears throat> today we are up pretty decently in our 100K account. We're up 181. And in our 50K account, we are up 140. Um, so we kind of hurt our 50K account pretty badly on Friday. Uh, but we are building that back up. We, we did a good job building it back up today. So our trailing max was at 160. We brought it back up to 301. And we're going to bring that back up to 2000. That's our base there focus is bring our trailing max drawdown up to 2000. Focus more on that than I am focused on hitting the profit target at this particular point in time. <coughs> Just because I want to um, have that flexibility in my risk uh, as well. So I think it's incredibly important. But if you guys would like to earn funding in the futures market, make sure you all check out Elite Trader Funding. These guys are awesome. They do um, allow you to earn funding as low as $10,000, as high as $300,000. Um, they allow you to choose your own software. 
they provide several different software and they provide the license key for it, which is worth thousands of dollars that I've found out um, because I did look at, at other prop firms and they would only allow me one software. And in order for me to use a different software, I need to go out and purchase that license key. These guys just include it. They allow me to uh, choose between several different trading softwares. And I really like that because that allows me to trade at the way that I like to trade and the, the a software that I understand that's easy for me to figure out. That is incredibly important. And actually one of the things that made me look at these guys again and be like, wow, they're actually providing one of the best services and the, the most valuable services in the marketplace on top of being competitive on pricing, which is actually pretty amazing. Um, they do have a really wonderful Discord community that is incredibly helpful. Um, we also, by the way, have a Discord community that is also incredibly helpful, not just for trading, but also entrepreneurship. And we talk about trading strategies and a bunch of different things inside of there. I also post my uh, daily results in there as well. Um, but you can earn funding as low as 10K, as high as 300,000. Personally, I'm working on the 50K evaluation uh, with a trailing max drawdown of 2,000 and a profit target of three. This allows me eight contracts in the mini. And I'm also working on 100K static evaluation, which is two contracts in the mini with a profit target of 2,000. Um, this one just has a flat drawdown of 625. Um, so personally, I really love these. There's also a 150K option. I I wish that this option was available when I signed up. Um, this is a newer one, and I may actually end up picking it up. Uh, but this is a newer one uh, that has a $4,000 profit circuit, but it allows me four contracts in the mini. Um, so, but if you guys use the link in the description, the promo code JSBEST, you'll actually be able to lock in a lifetime discount on these. There's also the more traditional style, like the end of the day drawdowns. And then there's the special style, which is the fast track eval. I only really recommend the fast tracks though. They are in it. They are inexpensive, which is nice, but I only recommend these if you have a super solid, uh, strategy because they do have a time limit on them. None of the other things have time limits. If you want to understand more, just click the see more details link, uh, next to every plan. And it will tell you all the information you need to know. Um, we are getting a little bit of a pop off of that 4055 zone. I'm jumping to over to the TOS side at the moment. And um, on the one minute chart, we did get a crossover to the downside after this uh, big drawdown here. But we we filled pretty well at 54. And so this may end up as support as it's dropping down. But, you know, 0 0.5 to 1.2 to 2.0. On the TCM on the downside. Coming up on 920. Actually, we're past 920. 921. Uh, we're pulling all the way back to the 200 simple moving average on the TCM3. And you can see this is what I'm talking about, guys, in terms of like. Where the, where the day is just putting in wave patterns. It's kind of like you've got this bounce here, like 40, 50, and then you run up to the the VWAP at 40, 60, then pull back to 40, 50 or 40, 55, then do it all over again. And that's kind of what it is happening a lot on the day. And I'm assuming that the lower volume as well as the lower price action is happening as a result of the lack of reports coming out today. Tomorrow we have a lot of reports coming out, and um, that should inc that should help improve the volume as well as the price movement on the day. But part of being profitable in trading is showing up every day, um, even if you're showing up and you know the market's not doing much, just kind of going sideways. But it's just showing up, taking a look at the market, seeing if you have an edge in the market. And if you do, taking advantage of that edge. If you don't, your edge is walking away. And that is an edge in and of itself. So, and I've personally worked really hard on that particular edge, which has not always worked out for me. Um, but it does work out when, when I decide to do it. So, and uh, I'm getting better at it. We do have more things uh, showing continued downward push um we did have the 50 working its way towards the 200 but now i can see the 50 starting to angle downward i also see the the nine is below 12 and we may have more potential for falling back down 
if we do fall down um we may fall back down all the way to the lowest so like 40 40 at least that's kind of my thoughts um but we would need to see continued support here around 54 55 and potentially a breakout and then like a hold above this 50 ema at like 56 or 57 we need to see it kind of hold there in, or, in order to really grind it up so that we can actually get that that 5200 crossover and a continued move to the upside just haven't been seeing a lot of trade opportunities which is why i'm not jumping into a bunch of trades right now a skill in trading is knowing when to trade and when to just watch the chart or just to sit out. Yep, we'll see you, Tiny. So, all right, y'all. Market's kind of going a little sideways. I do think that in about five minutes we may have some some price action. curious whether or not to like stick around for it or because i'm not like i'm not taking a bunch of trades at the moment just kind of watching watching waiting commiserating say it ain't so <laughs> i'm i'm going to continue to serenade y'all every single day because this is part of who i am 2.8 to 3.1 to 3.2 on the CTM on the red side. Uh, we do, it does look like we're getting a potential for a red to yellow move. <clears throat> a red to yellow move off of this 55 area would likely have um, movement available up to like 58 or 59. Maybe right at this like 200 simple, which is that 59 and a quarter. 2.8, 3.1, 3.2. I'm gonna wait for the next candle um, and see if we end up. Okay, here's the next candle. So 3.11 to 3.17 to now 3.4. So what I was waiting for, the reason why I waited for the next candle is because I wanted to see if it actually would switch from red to yellow. Um, if it would have switched from red to yellow, I would have taken a long, but it didn't. Just drop them down. So and that's why I waited. By the way, <clears throat> definitely some decent short ops today. This was one of them. If you could have anticipated that, I saw the flattening on the TTM, so I was like, "Yeah, I don't know." Seems more like an upward move potential, but because of the choppiness and lack of volume, I can't trust. I can't trust a lot of the patterns. So I've really got to take things on more of a reactionary basis today. That's kind of interesting to think about, just like just narrating it in that capacity. Um, I don't think I've ever uh, extrapolated this as a thought before. So I'm going to do it now right here on stream, which is that when the day is kind of slow and choppy like this, I, I may uh, I may focus on trading in a more reactionary style and ie try to catch some of these uh, some of these moves which we do a pretty decent job of um, as opposed to trading in a more anticipatory style which I can do when the chart patterns are lining up and there's more consistent volume um, it was kind of funny I, I never really thought about it that way anticipatory versus reactive um i would say today is more focused on reactive and because it's focused on reactive i i'm like more of like a hunter i guess if you will today where i'm like i'm, I'm waiting for that exact moment to strike kind of thing as opposed to some of the other days I can kind of like anticipate it and be like okay we're gonna enter roughly around here and exit roughly around there um so this is uh Kind of fascinating to just view that psychology of my own self at this point in time given the market 4.1 to 4.2 to 4.2 a uh, little bit better on the ttm one 
we are approaching 9.30. I think we'll stick around about 9.30 or so. Maybe like a little past that. By the way, if y'all are chilling, hanging out, make sure you like and subscribe. Ring the bell for them notifications. And uh, we do this every Monday through Friday, starting at 7.30 Pacific, 10.30 Eastern. So if you're in the Eastern time, show up here at 10.30. If you're in the Western time, show up here at 7.30. And wherever you fall when within the world, show up here at that time. All right, 4.2 to 4.2 to 4.0 on the TTM. TTM 1. By the way, did you like the way I said 4.2? It's like 4.2. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We are pushing back up towards 54. All right, this is looking a little bit better. Uh, let's see if I can get an entry off of 53 or maybe 50. Or, sorry, 53 and a half. But um, I think 54 sounds a little more reasonable. I'm looking for an entry off 54. I'm gonna bump it up one. Let's just take the take the quarter difference. And I'm looking for an an exit at 56. I'm gonna jump to the evaluation and um, watch for this pullback here. That would have been nice. Order fill. Join the bid at 55. I'm looking for an exit of 55 and three quarters. Twenty seconds. We dig it. Um, this is our fourth green in a row. I definitely should have traded the third green, not the fourth. We're getting a doji kind of here at the top. I may put this actually just on um, a single tick. Order fill. There we go. We got that trade. Uh, up 148.12. I mean, one contract, one tick. I mean, it's not like, you know, going to change the world, but um, we are up at 309 on the day. So not bad in terms of uh, the trailing max, and we're up 148.12 in the total um, in total on the day. This one is uh, pulling back. It looks like it just, like it landed like one tick below our sell order. It actually went above our sell order because we entered on this candle here. Went above our sell order and didn't fill. You gotta be kidding me, man. I've been getting like weird lag issues on TOS all day. I'm we'll gonna probably have to cut this trade because it should have exited and it didn't. Pulling backs up some, which is good. I'm gonna just put this like two ticks up. We're bouncing up the nine. Excuse me. We're bouncing up the 90 EMA. 3.0 to, <clears throat> to 2.6 to 2.4 on the TTM one minute side. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Yeah, we out. Uh, lots of 300 on that. So um, we're ending the day uh, up 500 in the... Um, up 500 in the sim, up about 150 in the 100k eval, and up 180 in the uh, in the 100k. Uh, sorry, up 150 in the 50k. We're gonna go ahead and shut it down there. Please like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and jump over into our Discord group, which is in the. There's a link in the description. Jump over there, guys, and we'll see you there where I'm about to post my results. I'm gonna jump off here. Thanks so much, guys. Peace, love, and appreciate you. We'll see you in the Discord community right now.